Annyeong. Welcome to L Sessions. We are about to face the biggest challenge yet. We are given the shipping data, which is a large set of data downloaded from the company database containing more than a thousand records. The boss has asked us to complete all the calculations. Let's check on how we can do this. The first thing we need to do is see the rest of the data. So we're going to come down to the bottom of the spreadsheet, click on the horizontal scroll bar, and scroll to the right. Now, we can see the blank columns. That is where we have to complete the calculations. The first calculation we need to do is the subtotal. The subtotal is how much the customer is going to pay before the discount and the shipping cost. So we're going to need to take the selling price multiplied by the quantity. Again, start with your equals. Click on the price per unit. We need to multiply. So remember, that's our asterisk. Click on the quantity and then press enter. Now, we still have more than a thousand records to go. So we're go really going to be there for a while. Remember the fill handle that we learned about last week. Well, the great news is we can use that for our calculations as well. So click back on T2. That little green box at the bottom right hand corner and double click it again. And once again, we, we copy that down. Now, we need to work on our discount. So the discount is worked out as a percentage of that subtotal. Percentages can make people a little nervous though. The good news is, in Excel, they are really easy. All you need to do is take the percentage amount and multiply it by the value you want to get a percentage of. Remember that 6% is not the same as 6. It's the same as 6 divided by 100 or if you prefer 0 0.06. So let's see how this works. We're going to start with our equals Click on our subtotal, press asterisk to multiply, and click on a discount percentage, and press enter. So let's copy that down again. Just double click your fill handle. There you go. Finally, we need to calculate our order total. This means taking our subtotal, subtracting the discount, and adding in the shipping. So this is a slightly more complex formula. Start with your equals, click on your subtotal, press the dash sign for our minus, click on your discount amount, then type in your plus sign for addition, and click on the shipping cost and press enter there's our order total and again we can copy that down so in under five minutes we have easily completed the shipping spreadsheet 